So what are we doing? We are going to look at a house for my mom in the park. Oh, it's this one right here. It's How cute. Park. Yeah, we are looking at a house that is for sale in our little neighborhood for possibly his mom to fully renovate and be closer to us. Joy. Joy. Um, <laughs> no, it'll be cute. Up, there's my Uncle Robert. Well, this will be fun. <laughs> I feel a uh, full renovation project oh God. coming on. Oh God. <laughs> Hi. I think it has potential. Uh, the lot's great. I know. We love a good corner lot. I know, I love that. You gotta keep in vision. Oh, Karen, that's my job. That's why I wanted you here, because I have a hard time doing it. Like I would take this out and make this one, you know, make that open, it's not support. What I would actually do, I'd move the door. We do a cute little entrance way right off the circle. You do a double door entrance, and then you do a cute photo here, and whatever, whatever. Can you like, cause see, you don't need to be there. You got stages, right? So at walkthrough, give me your, I like that it's higher ceilings. I didn't expect the ceilings to be that high. Yeah. Well, you redo the siding, and you come in and have Dennis or Kent and redo all of this. Right. Oh God, this is the type of thing yeah, this I is know. <laughs> that's what I live for. But what I like is that it's high ceiling. Yeah. You know, a lot yeah. of the old homes have the real low. Let me explain what that was. So a really cute house came available in our little neighborhood. And right now Karen lives about 10, 15 minutes away. Um, we eventually want to get her a little closer, uh, especially like when kids come about. So um, she's been looking, keeping her eyes open, and that came available like in our little neighborhood and um, it'd be a total fixer upper a total gut but it would be so fun it'd be a, a really cute project so we have to look more into that and get some more details on the house itself but it was fun for a moment <laughs> you guys know me i love a good diy house project so We'll see how that plays out, but I do think it'd be really fun to have her closer. Um, you know, our dogs can play together, and then when we need help with kids, she'll be right there. So we will see, but welcome to today's video. I'm getting a later start than I anticipated. It is already like 3.30, sun is going in and out, but life did get a little crazy over like the last eight months and especially with the wedding so i'm excited to get back into a normal routine of things and back into the groove but if you guys did miss it the whole wedding process is documented on my channel so you can check everything out there and our official wedding video is coming soon so i'm very excited to see that and share it with you guys for this video i wanted to just kind of get a handle on my life a little bit um i ordered new nightstands so i wanted to get those unboxed and switched over as well as like share with you guys those updates that I promised you from the last wedding vlog and we have some wedding gifts that I need to put away and find a home for so that's exciting so just a little like day in my life getting my life together video um, I actually really love these I enjoy these they're very therapeutic for me <laughs> so we will jump in and start with the nightstands because I'm so excited these huge boxes have taken over our front living room and I'm about sick of looking at them so I found two different nightstands. I couldn't decide what look I wanted to go with. Um, I found two different ones on Walmart. Um, I totally forgot that Walmart is kind of like Amazon now where you can, like they sell other things than just Walmart brands. So I had a lot of luck there. I grabbed two different ones. I wanted to unbox them, see what they look like, see if I like the shape, the height all that jazz because some of you might remember the nightstand fiasco that we had a couple months ago. They did not go as planned, which actually means I didn't read the measurements right. <laughs> so I'm gonna open these up, see what we think, see which ones we like, and then go from there. Okay, I'm not sure why I thought I could do this by myself. <laughs> These things are really heavy. So I'm gonna wait for the boys. They're currently working. Once they are done doing what they are doing, I will have them help me get these out of the boxes so we can see what they look like. But <laughs> let's head into the dining room and work on those wedding presents and some of those things and get that room to clear it out. That I can do. This 
I need assistance. <laughs> so this room always ends up being like my storage room. It's like our least used room, so everything just kind of ends up here. So the table is currently covered in like leftover wedding stuff, like all of the disposable cameras that we have to get uh, developed, as well as like some wedding gifts that we have opened. And I'm very excited to make our bed. Um, we got some new bedding as a wedding present, and we got the parachute like quilted covers, a new duvet cover from Brooke Linen, and a big quilt from Parachute as well. So I'm very excited to update bedding. That's like one of my favorite things to do. I guess we'll do a little wedding gift show and tell that's sitting here. <laughs> and then our gift from Sawyer's grandma was so cute. Sawyer's favorite thing in the world is fondue. And we needed a new fondue pot. Ours was so old, so I reused it so much. So she got us a new fondue pot um, for our kitchen and this was much needed. Sawyer's aunt got us this really cute, um, I think it's like for like salt and pepper or like little sauces for like a dinner party, but I love that it's made out of like travertine. I think that's so cool. So we got these really cool like hammered serving dishes and I really like these to either display like in my china hutch or obviously use to serve food. That it was like that hammered look. It really gave it that more like antique, vintage, like lived in look. So really happy with these. Um, that's pretty much it for like wedding gifts. That's right here. So we'll get this table cleared off and keep moving through. So the last thing I need to do in the dining room is get rid of this pile. This is everything that I've ordered from like Amazon that I just haven't gotten to yet. Um, so we have like the spice jars that I need to like switch out when I do the um, like kitchen organization, when I do like the spice cabinet. And I have a few other just random things that have piled up over here. So I'm gonna make a pile of things that we can get done in this video and just get them off the list, as well as a pile to go somewhere else and not just be stacked up here in the dining room. All right, that is better. I am leaving these spice jars here. I will find a home for those, but for right now, that's what I got. At least I got everything else out of there that I didn't need to be. So I just found something in that pile of stuff that I had ordered from Amazon that I forgot I need to put out. I ordered an acrylic calendar and I wanted this to put on the fridge. First of all, it's really minimal. I didn't want something like too colorful or too crazy or too like obvious, but I wanted something where Sawyer and I can put like important things or important dates. I don't know, I just wanted something where we can put like little reminders of something that's going on in the neighborhood or, you know, like date night, just like friendly reminders. I don't know, we'll see how much we use it and if I like it, but I do like the size and the look of it. So we'll try it. We will try it out. I do feel like something like this will come in handy once we have like kids and like family things going on. You can just imagine like dance rehearsal here or soccer game, I don't know. That's a little far in the future, but you see what I'm getting at. So um, I like this, I think it's cute. I like that you don't really notice it unless you know it's there. Um, so we will test that out, but I will link that down below because this is a good one. Um, all right, that's something out of that pile too. So I am leaving all the other home stuff to do tomorrow because we are off to a really important date. Sawyer, what are we doing? Doing the most important thing you can do. Yeah. Spending time with family. Yeah, we're going to go meet up with Sawyer's grandma, Daw, and we're going to go bingo. play bingo at her little community. Hope she wins. <laughs> I'm calling it. She's going to win. They She's going to go bingo! <laughs> they actually play for money. It's like no joke. They Apparently it's like a money. sport. Oh, if you accidentally call, if you call bingo and don't have it, you should leave. Oh, and you'll wow. get shanked. No, they... Florida late? Mm -mm. It's my first time, so let's Is go see Dot. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been yet. Oh my god, have you played bingo? Yeah, yeah I won on a cruise ship. Oh, that's right, that's right, <laughs> that's true. You gotta go. Right. Like, call it really like I, I, I have said, go. Oh, bingo! You be watching me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make sure everyone hears them in the back. Make, them, make it really hit home. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> no, thank you, babe. Wow, it's like they really, like, they really bear a lot. 
This is a sport. This is a sport. Like, yeah, Theo takes golf really serious. This is that. This is water hockey. This is water hockey. So, Beverly's supposed to be 18 years of age, early to play. You need to have the last number call to have a valid victim. She won bingo. 20, 25, 25, 33, 41, 41, 44, 44, 44, 45, 45, 47, 47, 49, 49, 49 62, 62, 66, 66, that's a good picture. Yeah. 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 Looks like we're going down back. <laughs> My best friend. Oh yeah, how convenient. <laughs> Bingo was so much fun last night and I am so impressed with how serious they take it. Like it's a sport. They mean business. Like all the different color markers they use, each game, how many games, there was 19 games, and I freaking won one. I won $50, like they play for real money. The final game of bingo is $250. Like that's the winnings. Like I told Doc, I'm going every week. <laughs> um, but no, on a serious note, it was so cool to go with Daw. That was my first time I've been. Sawyer's been before. And I literally told Sawyer, I was like, we have to do that at least once a month, if not every other week. Like Daw lives for it. And it was just so much fun to spend literally three hours with her playing one of her favorite games. So it was a lot of fun to say the least. And you might just see me at Bingo next week. <laughs> Anyways, um, this morning I woke up and I'm starting to get back on like my gym routine. I've been out of it for quite some time, literally since we left Hawaii, like a actual workout routine where I go every day, if not every other day. It's been a little hard for me to get like back into it. Obviously there's been a lot going on, but now that life is starting to set a little bit and I'm like finding my routine again, <sighs> feels nice to be going. I've been going every other day and I've been trying to go every day, but little steps at a time. As you guys may have seen, if you guys have been following us since we moved, got pretty busy and crazy and a lot of life happened and something that I learned is to give myself a little bit of grace. Um, I just imagined myself like jumping back into my routine and just like hitting it head on but I think I needed some time just to sit with myself um, especially even like after the wedding I needed a few weeks to like decompress because life finally settled down and it kind of hit me all at once and I kind of hit a little bit of a low which is fine um, in fact I appreciated that I did like I felt like I needed to feel that you know I needed to feel the grief I needed to let it life settle a little bit because life is a lot <laughs> and um, yeah after losing one of my favorite people I don't think I, um, I kind of jumped into like other things like planning the wedding and so once the wedding happened and that was amazing, it turned out so beautiful, um, but like after that I let myself actually feel for a minute and I'm glad I did. Um, I needed, I needed that, I needed to kind of sit with that for a second. So with that being said. <laughs> I worked out this morning um, and actually starting like this Monday, so this whole week, I've kind of been starting to find myself a routine and get back into things, start setting my goals again, start getting back into like everyday life and it's feeling really good. To kick off life, 
and spring and Easter this weekend. Um, I went to Sam's Club a couple days ago and grabbed some new flowers, find some vases, and we will place these beautiful flowers around the house. We have some roses and this beautiful spring arrangement with hydrangeas and daisies. And at Sam's Club, they also had some raspberries. So I'm gonna get an outdoor planter and start planting some raspberries. I thought that'd be fun. I need to get back into like my gardening and all of that, but that'll probably be a summer project once we move out there a little bit. <laughs> So I am pretty pleased with how these turned out. I absolutely love fresh flowers around the house and I went a little crazy this time when I was at Sam's. There's just so many pretty ones. So let's go put them out and enjoy the fresh flowers. Oh, I love spring, I do. I can't wait to have a garden again. So I just placed all of the vases around the house and I'm not gonna lie, I really like looking at fresh flowers and it looks really pretty fresh and like springy in here. So now that those are placed, let's play a little show and tell and share with you guys some of the updates. In the last vlog, I shared like the whole process of getting the house ready for the wedding. One thing I failed to do was show you guys the after. There was a lot going on, but we hung pictures, we hung up drapes, and just some like new additions to the house that we were getting done before the wedding. So I'm gonna share with you how they turned out. So the first thing, um, this actually arrived a while ago, I just realized um, I forgot to share that we got it, um, but we finally found a huge full length mirror and I actually thought I was filming when like it got delivered and they were carrying it in, but my camera was not rolling. It happens. So this mirror is actually from Pottery Barn and um, I think it's called the Burke XL mirror and I like it because it's like a I think it's like a rubbed oil bronze, but it has like antiquing around it. So it kind of gives off like a gold, almost coppery um, bronzed look around the frame, which I really liked. I thought it kind of added a little something rather than just a black frame. But um, honestly, when it arrived, I was a little nervous because the top of the mirror meets the top of the door frame and before we had curtains up, I was like, oh my gosh, that does not work. But when we hung up the curtains, you could no longer tell, if, I mean, unless you look really hard, that the door frame and the mirror are the same height. So thank goodness for that. That being said, that leads me in to the newest addition and something that completely changed the look of the home were the drapes. Now, I just got these drapes from Ikea. It's um, I'll link which ones they are, but it's the most like linen-like um, drapes that Ikea has. And they're really nice. They're actually a little long, so I'm gonna wash them and see how much they shrink once you wash them, and then probably hem them. They're just, yeah, they're a hair too long. I want them just brushing the ground, not uh, pooling. Plus it attracts like dirt and dog hair when they're that long, so. We'll get there, but um, yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with how the drapes turned out. And I just paired the curtains with like a heavy duty curtain rod that I found at Home Goods. Hindsight, I should have bought a few more for like the bedrooms because I really like how they look. And now I can't find them, but we'll find other ones. But yeah, I'm just really happy with how the drapes turned out to over the door and the window it really does make a difference. I remember my mom and Tom were um, hanging them up for me while I was doing other things during the wedding week and I walked out and I was like, 
my gosh, that made all the difference. So if you do not have drapes up in your house and you really wanna elevate your space, that is the easiest and quickest way to do it. You cannot go wrong with white linen curtains and a black curtain rod just to crisp up and freshen up your space. So anyways, that is the update on the drape front. Let me show you guys the light fixtures and we'll just kind of work our way around the house and I'll update you as we go. So one of the first things I wanted to do when we moved in was switch out light fixtures and I finally got to it and it was like perfect timing um, before the wedding. We had them switched out literally the day before the rehearsal dinner and I was so happy that it was done when it was because I was able to kind of like show our home in our style and like make it a little bit more ours before we shared it with our family. So this light fixture I just grabbed from Amazon, I think it was like $60 and I'm very impressed with it. Um, I really do like the way that it elevates the space as well as just the look it gives. I really wanted something that like didn't distract you from this cabinet because this is kind of like the focal point in this little nook. Um, I wanted something that you could kind of like see through is what I mean is like it was airy it wasn't like a dense um, light fixture like we had before so and it kind of just gives off more of that like modern traditional look which I am very happy with so anyways that is the light fixture in the dining nook and it looks so good I've got to love a good Amazon find <laughs> and the next light fixture that we switched out was the one over the kitchen island this one I was very excited to change I wanted a completely different look I love the look of like hanging pendants over a big island but where you kind of have a different setup here. So I wanted to give that effect without um, adding like light sockets or um, I light holes on the ceiling because there's only one. So I found this one on Amazon. So it actually works with what we already had as far as electrical, but I got the three pendants. Um, so I kind of got to marry those looks a little bit, which I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I also like these glass domes. It kind of gives it a light and airy feel again. Um, I do love like good old big pendants when you have them over a big kitchen island, but we don't really have that set up here because we kind of have a double island look. I wanted something that gave the effect of pendants, but you could still like look through the kitchen and it didn't distract you or cut off the room. But yeah, I found this one and I like it so far. I might change my mind down the road as we kind of change and elevate and um, switch up this space. I do eventually want to paint this cabinet and do a few like minor renovations and additions to the kitchen with like tile and whatnot. So we'll see, styles might change, but at least it works for now. Definitely an upgrade. So we have a few new additions to this room or finally got some things done, which I'm very excited about. I do have a bigger plan for this room, which I think I've shared before. I wanna do like a dark moody room and add like framing on the wall and just do a few different things in here, but we will get to that. But in the meantime, we hung up this art piece, which was one of the first things we got for this home. I saw this at a vintage store and I absolutely fell in love. It's like a plaster nature piece and I really liked the texture, the color, and just like, I just like that it was different. I've never really seen it before. So I was really, really happy once we were able to hang that up and finally see what it looks like in the home. And when you walk in from the front door and you look directly left, you see this. It's kind of like the main focal piece. And I just, I don't know, I love this piece. There's just something about it. Which brings me to the next addition in this room. And this is actually like, these are probably the two favorite pieces that we have in the house so far that piece of art, and then this light fixture. So I found this on Amazon, but I saw inspo for it, oh my gosh, everywhere. Like on Pinterest, in magazines, in on Instagram. I absolutely love like this crystal chandelier look, and I wanted something linear in this room over a big dining table. And when I saw this, I was like, yes, absolutely. And I actually found this on a different site, but ended up finding a better one on Amazon and for a much better price and I'm very very impressed with the quality and it just gives a totally elevated and elegant and classic look in here so very happy with how this turned out like, honestly it's really cool <laughs> so if you're looking for something to totally switch up your space I highly recommend this they do have it in other shapes and other like um, chandelier styles but yeah 
that's cool. But I actually think that might be it for most of the home updates as far as like big changes. It was really the drapes and the light fixtures that you guys didn't get to see. Um, we did hang up and like move around some photos. Um, so this is like a new addition. I got that one at TJ Maxx. And then I'll kind of give you guys a glimpse of like when you walk into the house, what I'm talking about as far as the dining room and some of the pictures you see when you walk in. So this is now our little entryway. I have like a little full of suckers, flowers, and like a key bowl with this new flower print, which is really pretty. And then when you look down this way, those are the nightstands that we have to um, unbox. I'm gonna have the boys help me here in a second. And I really like when I walk in, my eyes kind of drawn towards that chandelier and then you see that photo. So those are the updates in the home right now. So the next thing that I want to get done today is getting my car washed. I don't remember the last time I got it washed. It looks so bad on the outside, it is so freaking dirty. And my car has so much dog hair in it. The boys took it to the beach the other day. It just needs to be, it just needs a good scrub. Plus I sometimes feel like <sighs> my car represents like the state of my mind. Um, I just can tell when like I'm on top of things, my car is kept clean, it's vacuumed, it's all the things. And when it's not is pretty much when I'm not on top of things. So. That is what I am doing today. I'm getting on top of things, and one of the things is getting my car washed. Car wash, here we come. <laughs> car washed, picked up some lunch, now headed back home to finally undo those nightstands. Are you serious? I love that. It's kind of cool. A little more rustic. Yeah. Is it almost... small drawers or big drawer? That's great. Well, I think it's supposed to be a little wider. And the only thing I did like about this one is it almost looks more of an Ikea top. Yeah, this looks no, more I, love like a... I love that. Is this one has like two steps. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah, that's no. Nope, we're done. Okay. I ordered two different ones. One kind of gives a complimentary look to the dresser we have where it like kind of goes with it. This one was almost trying to mimic it a little bit. Yeah, this Plus, is... it's a little bit flimsier material. Like you would, you would break that yeah, by I'd break, I'd break that in the night. <laughs> Pardon me, but um, this one's really cool. Yeah, it's like really it. heavy. It's a little bit wider. And um, it kind of looks like an old apothecary-ish vibe. And I like this. Oh, that makes me so happy. And I think that's the hardest thing when it comes to furniture is kind of knowing the quality, the feel, what it's going to look like in your space. And most of the time when you buy a piece, it's like final, unless it's like Amazon or, you know. But anyways, I'm very happy with this. And I think this is a great find from Walmart. Like very impressed. And now some of the fun begins. I actually love switching out furniture and seeing like the before and after. Um, these nightstands have served us very well. I've had these nightstands since we lived in our apartment in LA and they came with us to Hawaii and now here and we just needed something like I don't know, a little more substantial, a little wider and I wanted to mix up the wood tones a little bit. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and switch this out and see how we did. I just kind of roughly decorated the top of the nightstand. It's pretty much the same as my last setup. Um, I'll probably switch it up now that it's a little bigger. Um, I do need to go through and like organize and fill the drawers, but so far I really like the way it looks. It's a little more rustic than we normally choose and um, I think it does complement the dresser pretty well. And I do like the dark wood. I was a little worried it was gonna look like too dark brown versus like more of a black. Um, I think it is considered more of like an espresso, but it actually gives off more of like a worn black stain look. 
So I'm pretty impressed with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over the drawers and then switch over Sawyer's and then I'll show Sawyer and see what he thinks. But I think I really like it. It looks pretty good. Wow, I can't believe how far this bedroom has come only today. <laughs> the nightstands look so good. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is put out our new parachute quilt that we got for our wedding. I honestly don't know if there's a better feeling than like new bedding. So this is a pretty exciting day. New bedding, new nightstands. Oh yeah. Oh, this quilt is nice. It's a little oversized. That's cool. Wow, that looks good. Doesn't it look better? Oh my god, it looks so much bigger, more open. And it's nice to have a contrast. Oh, that looks terrific. Yeah, the contrast right? looks great. Oh, that looks terrific. I haven't filled it because I wanted to see what you thought about it before. Yeah, I no, fill it. it looks great. <laughs> I, I'm sold. Cool. Yeah, it feels nice to have some depth. Yeah. Do you think it looks okay with the dresser? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think if anything, something I might do down the line is do a different bed, like something more material rather than wood. <laughs> like a really cool... A linen type of Yeah, material. something a little taller. I Yeah, know. with the dark wood, it'd look great. And then... Ah! Okay. Not competing woods. I love you. I love you. All right, that's a win. New nightstands. I think the last thing I'm going to do is show you guys some things that I got at Home Goods and show you. What'd you get? Um, I found some cuties. I first grabbed, that's not exciting, but a new thingy for the sink. Sponge holder, yes. right? Okay. The one that we have right now is rusted. And then look, for spring. Oh, that's really Yellow cute. towels, aren't they soft? Yeah. I was like, ooh. Yeah, it's a good uh, spring summer color. And it would splash, kind yeah. of splash or something. Bring a little color in here. And then, I like that bowl. So that was like one question. I didn't know if we liked it. I thought yeah. it was kind of cool. Yeah, it reminds me of Italy. Uh -huh. I don't remember when I got this one last year. Uh huh. Do they go? Yeah. Is that a yes or a yeah. questionable? <laughs> well, just, this is a lighter shade of blue, but this matches. That matches, and I just didn't know if like the greens and yellows look like. I mean, they... they're definitely both lemons. Yes. Do we like? I, I like it. This we own, that we heard. <laughs> I like it. You, you're the chief decision maker, but I like it. Okay. I thought it was kind of fun and different. All right. And then the last thing that I got, which I thought was kind of cool, we recently went over, well, it was a couple months ago now, but we went over to a friend's house and they did like, um, remember Jose's when they did that steak dinner mm -hmm. and they served everybody on like a cutting board? Yeah. I found these small cutting boards. Those nice as plates. Yeah, almost like I thought it'd be cool if we do like burgers one night yeah, yeah, or yeah. wings Definitely. and fries. I thought it was kind of a cool way to yeah. serve your guests. So I grabbed eight of them. And I thought that was a pretty good price. They were $9 for a cutting board. And I thought it was a cool way for like the summer for barbecues and whatnot. Yeah, if we have seating for nine people, I'd say yes. Eight people. Eight people. Eight people, nine dollars. Eight people, nine dollars. <laughs> That's a good deal. That's awesome. It's a really good idea. Yeah, I, I grabbed as many as they had. Yeah, that'll be fun. Eight's what they had. But anyways, so that was... like brewery. Yeah. Like, yeah, like pub bar. style. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, exactly. Good job. Thank you. Um, but that's what I recently found at uh, Home Goods. Nothing too exciting. Um, I do have some returns. Ooh, I do have one more thing. This one I can't decide if I like. This is very Navajo. <laughs> See, that was my question. I love the white glaze. Actually, okay. it goes with the blues, I guess. It's kind of cold, but it's so heavy. So it's this big, like vintage pottery looking vase. I do like it. I just can't decide if I like the bottom. Do you see how it's like two-toned? It's very like earthy. Yeah, it's cool. So we'll decide on that. But that's my recent finds at Home Goods. I was pretty proud of them. I was saving them to share with you guys. They've Good been sitting in a bin. <laughs> Thanks. Good. Yay. You, right. always, you always find the best stuff there at Target. You know, I try. I love you. Some good finds. All right, but seriously, my question. Do we like this lemon bowl? Is it cute for summer? Is it necessary? And do we like that big vase? Let me know what your thoughts are. But I think I'm gonna end this video here. I felt like we accomplished a lot between the nightstands, running errands, and kinda regrouping it felt really really nice um but i'm really excited tonight we're gonna take sawyer's mom and his grandma on a little dinner date we're gonna go get some italian food i think it's adorable we try to take his grandma on a date um every week 
and um, this week she called and said, would it be cool if we include Karen, Sawyer's mom? And Sawyer was like, yeah, let's do it. So we're doing a big group date tonight and I just think it's absolutely adorable. And I think that's my favorite thing about living in Vero is seeing Sawyer get to spend so much time with his mom and grandma. It like, it warms my heart as cheesy as that is. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the updates in the house and seeing some of the new things that I've recently found. So that is it. I'm gonna feed these little dogs, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the updates as well as some of my new finds. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.